Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making peach iced tea concentrate. This is something that you can put away in the fridge and uh, store for a later use and you can pull it out, pour it into a bottle with some water and instantly make peach iced tea for all of your family and friends using these tea bags, those mason jars behind me, some hot water, some cold water, and a little bit of cane sugar. I am going to get the kettle started and here we go. While the electric kettle is going, I'm just going to put a quarter cup of, actually it's a half cup because I'm using two quarter cups of sugar in each of these jars. Now I am the type of person who whenever I go to McDonald's and uh, they give me iced tea or sweet tea, I literally get a cup of water, a cup of tea, I drink half of the water, pour like some of the tea into it and drink that. That's just how I am. I can't stand too much sweet stuff. So if you are the person who loves the McDonald's sweet tea, you probably want to put a whole cup of sugar in these jars. Okay, so I've just filled all the jars with sugar and we're just waiting on the kettle now. Okay guys, the water is boiled, so I'm just going to pour water into all of these jars here and uh, dissolve all the sugar. I'm just finishing up dissolving the sugar, so almost out. We are going to open up our box of tea bags, and I use two in each one, and I think that that, that has a lot of flavor in there. Um, and the reason why you don't want to put the tea bags in before you stir out the um, the sugar is because if you go ahead and try to dissolve the sugar when the tea bag's in there, uh, the bags can pop and you're going to get the dregs inside of the liquid and I hate when that stuff is in the tea. So you want to just put the tea bag like in there after the sugar is dissolved. I just use the spoon to just like push it down in there. Okay, now you're just going to cover each jar. We're just going to leave them for the tea flavor to seep out into the liquid and while we're doing that I'm going to go get an old orange juice bottle that so here is our nice and clean orange juice bottle. I am going to go fill this uh, with water from the Primo machine, like cold water. So I'm going to fill it to about this line right here. This is a 50... Let me go check in for really quick one second. Okay, so this is usually a 59 ounce bottle of orange juice right here. And um, so this recipe is typically for like a 50, 52 ounce. Um, so I'm going to only want like my target to fill it up to when I have all of the liquid in there, the water and the concentrate that we just made, is going to be this line here. So I'm going to try to fill it with like water to about this line and see if I get it right. Okay, I would have to say that that's close enough to the line I was going for, I think. Okay, um, the next Thing I'm going to do is pretty much just um, pour the concentrate into the bottle. So I'm going to unscrew it. And the other two are going to go in the refrigerator. And you're going to notice that they're going to get thicker. You can keep these uh, concentrates in the fridge for up to two weeks and they'll be just fine as long as they're in like an airtight um, container or jar. Um, and here we have some mango tea that we made pretty quickly. Cheers! It's great. It's super great. It is super great. And you don't have to use just peach tea bags. I have used um, blackberry tea bags wild berry tea bags, raspberry tea, raspberry tea is pretty awesome too. I hope you guys make this, I hope you love it, and I hope you will join me next week for another recipe. Since I'm gonna be off, you know, drinking tea and enjoying peach country, I decided to leave my AI to tell you watching my video and I hope you'll join me next week for another recipe. It's the 
ADHD, it'll make you forget where you are. See you guys next time.